Feels awesome. Uh, always a good good team uh, in the ACC and uh, a good team to play against. Obviously, they're they're a different type of a team. They're they're a run team. Um, I mean, for me, honestly, I just got to keep on doing the same thing I'm doing. Just kick the ball. It's really uh, on our defense and our offense, uh, especially on our defense, to to scheme against that type of offense. But other than that, uh, it's always fun to play against them. When you start winning, like when you win a national title, do mm-hmm. conference championships still mean as much? Oh yeah, I mean, it's it's obviously one of our goals uh, that Coach Fisher puts out. And uh, I mean, you look at it. I've been here, and I mean, we've done really well going in you know national championships and stuff. But other schools that you know, are not top tier. They're always shooting for, for to win their conference and stuff. So, I mean, it's always it's always an honor and, and, and big to, to win to win conference championships. I know it's always kind of the focus on the next game, but do you, with this one with the stakes so high, you kind of peek ahead knowing that, that you're probably in that college football playoff if you win this one? Uh, I mean, yeah, you think about, uh, you know, if you win this, where do you go? And, if, you know, you keep on winning. But obviously, you got to focus on the one that's in front of you. And, and obviously, that's Georgia Tech. And uh, we're just doing everything in our ability to uh, to get ready for them and uh, prepare as much as we can to, to have a good game. Well, Bruno, in a game like this where there might not be very many possessions for the mm-hmm. offense, is it even more important to make sure you get points every time out, you know, even if it's mm-hmm. you know, a field goal? Uh, yeah, like Coach Fisher said, it's going to be a lot like the Boston College game. Uh, uh, minimum possessions. Uh, Boston College, we both had eight. We had eight, and Boston College had eight. So, um, yeah, every every possession counts, and uh, hopefully, if even three points uh, is a big difference. Getting on a possession, getting points. The, the record's the, the same as it was at this point last year, but does it feel like this is just a completely uh, inside-out season from what you had last year? Uh, I mean, obviously, it's different uh, compared to the season ago but I mean like I said I mean being 12 or uh, yeah 12 and 0 is uh is I mean either way to how you doesn't matter how you get there you're 12 and 0 but I mean obviously it's it's a different we've come at it a different way but at the end of the day a win's a win and and I mean it's it's the same thing yeah in, in that locker room how is there any sort of sense of us against the world kind of deal uh I mean want to put it that way I guess I mean yeah uh, just what the media tells us and what what's on ESPN oh FSU upset alert they don't even put a question mark after it. it's just like FSU upset alert uh, I mean it's I feel like it's like that every week I mean I don't even like pay attention to that you know I mean they get paid to do that so they have to say something so I mean that's where they get their money I mean we just got to go out there and, and uh, play do what we do and, and play football the way we play and uh at the end of the day, if we keep winning, they can't, you know, they can't say anything about it. Yeah. What's your opinion on the ACC going 4-0 against the SEC last weekend? Uh, the ACC going what? 4-0. I mean, that's big. I, I heard it. And, uh, I mean, obviously Georgia Tech beating Georgia, uh, that's a, that was a big one. Um, I mean, it went, went into overtime. But, I mean, it goes to show that the ACC is one of the top tier conferences in the nation. I mean, it can handle, uh, I mean, SEC teams. Like, I mean, people say if we were in the SEC conference, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be at the top of that conference. But I feel we we could hold our own. And uh, I mean, the ACC is just as good as the, the SEC, I believe. So, you think it's just a bias? I mean, yeah. Obviously, the SEC is a good conference, but at the end of the day, uh, I mean, ACC t- programs can hold. Can hold their own against SEC. Were you watching the play when Jalen jumped over the long snapper? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how he didn't block that. Uh, he got off the ground pretty pretty well, but I mean, it's all timing though. If, I feel like if he would have timed it a little bit better and he would have been a little bit too more to the left, he could have got it. But either way, that I mean, to field goal kickers, that's that's a that's a good threat because you can't drive the ball. I mean, he, if he would have driven the ball, he, the the other kicker he would he would have blocked it for sure. Is that kind of a nightmare scenario for you to have a guy come over the top? I mean, well, if he can, if he has like a 42 inch vert, yeah, maybe. I mean, <laughs> he has a threat to block it, even with as much height as you get. If he would have timed it right, he would have got, he would have got it. But I mean, watching film, the Florida guys, they were coming at my field goals hard. I'm surprised they didn't block one or at least two. Has, uh, has Jalen done that to you in practice? Uh, no, he hasn't blocked. He hasn't blocked it. I mean, 
they, at the end of the day, I don't feel like they they don't want to block it against pract uh, practice because it does hurt even if it like hits your stomach. Uh, so. <clears throat> have you been blocked at practice? Uh, no, I haven't got a field goal blocked. I mean, since probably high school. I don't know. Did, um, I mean, there's a lot of great athletes in the locker room, but when you see him flying like that, what's that like? What, the guys, the guys it's, it's crazy just, you know, seeing that type of uh, ability, that type of talent. I mean, uh, I think he long jumps here. Uh, yeah, yeah, he long jumps. So he has that vert. I mean, we put him there as our guy to, to, to block, to jump over the line. And, I mean, I could. I remember seeing uh, Coach Mushim from Florida telling him that you, know, you couldn't do that because he like got on top of the the long snapper, but he clearly like jumped over him. But I mean, it's crazy to see that that talent.